Hey guys, really quick uh, update for you guys that has to do with uh, the ZTE Max. So we're just going to get straight into it right now. Okay, so um, for those who updated the ZTE Max, code name N9520, um, when you guys updated to 4.4.2 KitKat, basically root was like, I mean it's possible to root it. It's just a little quirky and I did a video um, showing you guys all the stuff I had to go through to do it. And a lot of people were like, that's just way too much stuff. They're going to wait for a more easier version. And um, so I've been on top of it. I've been waiting for it. Uh, there's still not a one-click root method yet, as far as I know. Um, but there is a slight bit easier way of doing it other than using VirtualBox. So... I'll put the link in the description of this video so you guys can read it for yourself, but I'm also going to go over it really quick. Um, and I want to give a shout out to Super R, the developer who works with the ZTE Max. So basically, there's root instructions for full stock 4.4.2 devices, or basically the ZTE Max. Uh, what you'll need to download, and they have the link uh, in the forum, you have to download the, the, um, the Unbrick tool. ISO files, you're going to need the Super SU zip and Phil's recovery zip. But basically, the process is still the same, except for the fact that you're not going to be using VirtualBox to force boot Phil's touch recovery. You're going to be using the Stormer Unbrick tool or the ZTE Max Unbrick tool to force boot recovery so you can flash the Super SU zip to give it root and the Phil's uh, recovery zip to give it recovery completely. Um, really, it's not all that hard if you follow the directions step by step. It's way easy, especially, you know, they map out everything you have to do in terminal mode. Um, the only thing that seems to be a little intimidating is the fact that you're going to be using the ZTE Unbrick tool. But then again, I mean, they lay out the instructions so simple to follow, I mean, you're just going to have to take a chance on that. This is like the only thing that I see that is a little bit easier than having to download VirtualBox and set up a virtual machine on your, your laptop or PC. Uh, with this method, you're going to use the Unbrick tool. And the only things that you will probably need is either a, a blank uh, CDR. I don't know if you guys remember those, but recordable CDs. Or, let me grab Sheldon right here or you'll need a flash drive is the only two things that it says that you'll probably well not probably but you will definitely need one or the other you don't need both of them just one or the other because when you get the ZTE Unbrick tool it's a ISO file and so you're either gonna have to burn it to a CD or you're gonna have to make a bootable flash drive out of your flash drive and have it connected by USB and all you're really doing is you're just booting into a system which is um, the, Z, the ZTE Unbrick tool, you're booting into that and then you're going to use that to force boot recovery so you can flash the uh, Super SU zip file and you're going to flash the Phil's Touch recovery zip to permanently give the Max the uh, custom recovery. So, basically, uh, that's what I can find right now. I know it's not as simple as like Towel Root or any of the other one click routes. And maybe at some point they might be able to build something like that, but nothing's been built yet so far. But this seems to be a little bit better than using VirtualBox, I have to say. It's much easier. It's just following instructions and doing exactly what it says to do, and you would be able to obtain root for the ZTE Max on 4.4.2 KitKat. So, um, in closing, that's pretty much it. Uh, link in the description so you guys can read the, the post and check it out. And... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.